If you want to know how I paid only 50% of my tuition fees as an undergraduate international student, slashing off over $13,000 in tuition fees, aka I got over $13,000 in scholarship, keep watching. Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you for clicking on this video. If this is your first time of being here, hi, I'm Prevela and you are watching The Foreign Story. Here we aim to provide information and resources for current and prospective international students who want to study in the US. So if you have any questions or concerns about studying abroad, just leave your comments or your questions in the comment section down below and I shall be sure to address them. If you're a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for coming back you're the real mvp i really appreciate you make sure to hit that subscribe button like this video share with your friends and family this video is going to be packed with so much information you do not want to miss it and i'm sure someone in your circle will appreciate this video so please share this video and yeah let's get right in so my singular most massive source of scholarship while i was in school was the tuition waiver and you may be wondering what is a tuition waiver what is this tuition waiver i'm talking about so there are different types of tuition waiver but this particular one is called the out of state tuition waiver and it's a sort of program that the state of texas does for international students that are studying in texas now various other states do this program in different ways but i'm going to be sharing my experience with this program as an international student in the u.s in texas so first and foremost this tuition waiver is a sort of scholarship that allows you to pay in-state tuition as an international student you automatically pay out of state tuition so that means your fees will be like twice as much what permanent residents or citizens pay so you pay a lot of money the average tuition fee per year for international students is about twenty six thousand dollars and that's if you're even going to a cheap school it goes up to a higher like fifty thousand dollars per year so being an international student in the u.s is no joke it's expensive very expensive that's why scholarships and waivers anywhere you can get them are super important so this tuition waiver was one of my saving grace while i was in school you may be wondering how does this tuition waiver work so when you get the tuition waiver normally it applies as soon as you get it from that semester that you get it till when you graduate they keep applying that tuition waiver every semester and every year to your tuition fees so this tuition waiver takes up 50 percent of your school of your tuition fees so that means you only pay half of your tuition fees which is what instant tuition is so as you can see this tuition waiver is a huge help and it will save you thousands of dollars now and how can you get it in the state of texas all public schools in the state of texas can participate in this program and all you need to do is just get one thousand dollars of a competitive scholarship and you can qualify for this program now there's a little caveat here because this program can be tweaked per university policy so that means the policy differs from school to school some schools allow you to get one thousand dollars of scholarship and you qualify for it and some schools either raise the minimum or i don't think you can lower it i think they can only raise the minimum so for example i know with um, texas a m college station they raise theirs to four thousand dollars so you have to get four thousand dollars of scholarship before you can qualify for this tuition waiver and boy it is it's, it's, it can be quite it can be quite hard to get a four thousand dollar scholarship but um getting a one thousand dollar scholarship of a competitive scholarship allows you to qualify for the scholarship in most schools in texas so you may be wondering who do i talk to about the scholarship to get it in my school or you know how do i go about getting this tuition waiver from my school so it like i said it differs from school to school in my school how they do it is it differs from college to college so each college has their own process i was in college of engineering and in my college we had a program manager who was responsible for maintaining the tuition waiver list so you go to her and enroll you know and put your name on this list and when you get a one thousand dollar scholarship based on your place on the list they determine if you get the tuition waiver that semester they go sequentially on the list as people graduate and are taking up the list you know others that are down keep are being bumped up they determine the number of people per semester who will be able to get this scholarship that was how they did it in my school so it differs from school to school and in each school it could differ from college to college i would advise to learn more about this tuition waiver and how they do it in your school you probably want to talk to either admissions department or financial aid or you can talk to the international student office or you can go to your if you have a program manager in your own college maybe college of engineering college of nursing wherever you're studying ask around talk to professors how i found out about mine was through a professor so talk to professors talk to fellow international students who have already been there in the school before you talk to them too they'll probably know more about it and mostly talk to undergraduates because 
I noticed that a lot of graduate students don't really know about this tuition waiver because they have their own way of getting a waiver and they may not be aware of how undergraduates get, can get this waiver. So mostly talk to undergraduate international students in your school and see if they know about the tuition waiver and how to go about it in your school because it differs from school to school. Now, if you're thinking, oh, but my school is not in the state of Texas, how can I still get this tuition waiver? Fear not. Different schools have different ways of allocating this out of state tuition waiver. I'll leave some links below that can help you learn more information about how other schools and other states do this tuition waiver program too. Some schools have their own funds that they allocate for this out of state tuition waiver. Some other states, I know like New England has their own, you know, sort of tuition waiver program for international students. So some states have this same type of program but they do it a different way so all the links i will leave below especially look at the fast web link it's gonna be in the description box below look at that link and it will show you what other states are doing in terms of this type of tuition discounts and all of that so there's money out there there's scholarships there's tuition waivers there are different ways to get money for school you don't have to pay full price you do not have to pay full price when i transferred to my university I only paid full price for one semester because I didn't know about the tuition waiver, I didn't know how to get it and I didn't get any scholarship yeah, before transferring so I had to pay full price for that first semester but once I found out about it, best believe I was, I was on their case to get that tuition waiver so I was able to get it by the following semester. So from that semester till I graduated, I never paid full price, not one single day, I never paid full price. There's money out there and you too, you too can get that money. So I'm gonna leave links for more information in, in the description box below make sure to check them out it's gonna be super helpful for you other ways to get scholarship could be through outside external scholarships from companies or from organizations non-profit so i got scholarship through nesby through smrp which is society for the for maintenance and reliability professionals i think you can only get that one if you have like somebody who is a, already a member and you can use their referral link but there are other ways to get scholarship i'll leave links to scholarship databases i, if I even have a friend who has a company built around providing scholarships for students so so there's a lot of resources and information out there it may be difficult you have to put in the work it's gonna be i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be hard but if you put in the work and you know really network and look for these opportunities and apply luck could be on your side and you get the scholarship to get this money so yeah that was how i got over thirteen thousand dollars in scholarship i never paid full price except that one semester while i was in school and yeah it's possible for you to to be an international student and not pay full price if you have any questions or concerns or if you want to know more about this and you have questions just let me know in the comment section down below you can also email me my email is in the description box so you can also email me i will be sure to help out in whatever way i can but thank you so much for watching this video. i hope you learned something new and i hope this information has been of value to you make sure to share this video with your friends and family make sure to hit the subscribe button like this video and yeah I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a good one.